Hey everybody, how's it going over there in your home watching me here? So, like I said last week, I'm not sure, maybe your parents um, forgot to tell you, which is totally cool because there's a lot going on right now. But I thought I'd do a little video to get, for, for you guys to get to know me a little bit better and just to kind of tell you a little bit more about myself. I know I had that that one day when I came in and I did it like two truths in one line. You, some of you, I think I got you guys pretty good. He didn't believe that I was moving to Egypt, which hopefully is still uh, happening. But that's one of the questions I got from you, I think, uh, from Alexa. So I'm going to talk about that. And yeah, I just first off wanted to say I'm very bummed out. I'm not teaching you all here in the class. So you can see, look at all your desks all sad and lonely. And everything so empty. It feels weird being in here, not without any students. So, first question we had. We had a question from Noah asking if I like, I think it's pronounced the doge. The doge or the the dog or the dog. Maybe the dog. I'm not sure. But from the pictures I've seen, I think he's pretty cute. He looks pretty awesome. And I've seen him around with a lot of memes too. So, maybe... Maybe that's where I've seen him before, but he looks pretty sweet and I'm a huge fan of dogs, an absolute dog person. My mom has a yellow lab and a, and a chocolate lab, with, which I like to take running with me all the time and it's really awesome. So next question from Sophie, she was asking me about Egypt. So she asked me if I was still going into Egypt and if not, what's the other plan? So I spoke with my boss over there just a couple days ago and as of right now, we really don't know. It's so difficult with the way the world is. How um, We just don't know a lot of things that are going on right now, which is unfortunate. But I'm staying very optimistic, right? So I'm staying very positive, just like I hope everybody else is out there, that we will beat this and that we will all get healthy or the whole world will get healthy again at some point and I'll be able to hop on a plane and, and fly over to Egypt. I'm really, uh, I'm really hoping I get to do that. And when I get over there, I'd probably send out everybody some pictures of me being over there so you can see what it looks like, All right? We got the big pyramids and the Sphinx, right? It's that little cat that kind of sits like this. The Sphinx, so much history. Um, we have a place called the Red Sea that uh, I'm gonna go scuba diving in, hopefully. There's a place called the Mediterranean Sea, which apparently has good surfing. So I'm not sure if any of you know this, but surfing is my absolute favorite sport. I absolutely, I love surfing. Um, when I lived in Brazil, when I was 18, I grew, I lived on the beach there and I was able to surf a lot of the days, which was really, really fun. And then I've been very fortunate to be able to surf in Denmark and all in Canada. And I lived in Portugal for a little while and surfed over there. I surfed in Morocco, which is an amazing country. Yeah, so I, I love surfing, and I also really like soccer. Really, really, really like soccer. If anybody else likes soccer, Manchester City, that is my team. I have one question here from Maddox asking me if I like anime. And to be honest, I haven't watched anime in a long time. I used to watch it probably when I was your age, though. We, our like, early anime that we really enjoyed was kind of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon kind of style. There was... Naruto, I think, was one. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching that. I used to play all the games and everything that way. But since then, I haven't watched much. I've looked at all the books that all the kids are reading and, like, the graphic novels and those kind of things. Those are really awesome. So, yeah, if you know of any let, uh, any good ones, let me know because I'd like to do some more research into it. Yeah, awesome. All right, and then we had another question from Alexa. So Alexa asked me how many languages I speak and if I could give some examples of it. So, hmm, I have st I've been very fortunate to have studied five or so languages, yeah. So I speak English. I did French immersion and graduated grade 12 from Penn High uh, in French immersion. I then moved to Brazil and I learned to speak Portuguese there. And then I went to university and I studied a year of Spanish in university and then the next year of university I studied a year in German. So, we'll give a couple examples here. It's been a while since I've spoken other languages, but we'll see how I do. Okay, so let's start off with English, obviously. You know I've been speaking English this whole time. Second, let's go French. So, I think in each language, I'll talk about how long I studied it, and maybe 
um, how much of it I could speak, I guess. So in French, you could say, ah, je peux parler un petit peu de français, j'ai étudié le français pour oh, 7 ans au uh, KBR et Penn High. Uh, je veux apprendre ma, uh, plus, je veux apprendre plus français. Something like that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've spoken French. Um, let's go to a Spanish or it was Portuguese, maybe. I will leave Portuguese for the end because that's my best one. Um, let's go to German. German. Ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Uh, ich, ich möchte uh, mehr einfahren. Yes. Around the, yeah, something like that. It means I can speak a little German, but I want to learn more. Um, let's go to Spanish now. So, yo puedo hablar un poquito de español. Um, yo estudié español en la universidad para un año, pero yo quiero aprender más. So, right there, same thing. I said I, I wish I could speak better Portuguese. Or, sorry, I wish I studied Spanish in university, but I wish I could speak more of it. And, finalmente, yo voy a hablar Portuguese. Je, eh, Ah, eu estudei português por um ano quando eu estou morando lá no Brasil. E eu gosto muito dessa de língua, é uma língua estranha, um pouco, um pouco mais cantando, mas eu gosto muito de, de falar espanhol e português também, dois, é Alemanha e francês. Gosto muito de falar essa língua. Okay, so there I was talking about how I'd like to speak the other languages, and I learned it in Brazil when I was there for a year. And yeah, anyway, if you all like this video, I would love it for you to maybe uh, tell me a little bit more about yourselves through an email or something like that, or we're going to connect through Teams in the near future. But I hope this helps maybe create a little bit of a, of a relationship between everybody here so that you get to know me better and you feel more comfortable emailing me and asking me any questions, all right? Like I said, I miss you all. I am so excited to hear from you every time I open up my laptop and check my emails. And I've so far been really impressed with all your journaling, all right? Stay happy, stay healthy, and hopefully we get to see you at some point.